name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the Grotto of Lords. Today is the feast day of Mother Teresa, St. Teresa of Calcutta, saint of our time. She was canonized just a few years ago by Pope Francis in 2022. Someone who called herself a pencil in the hand of God pencil, something simple, but allowing God to work with her. That's all we can expect to do too, is to be, to place ourselves in the hand of God and let God work through us. So let's begin by calling to mind the amazing mercy and forgiveness of God. Lord Jesus, you call us to care for the littlest and the poorest. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to follow you in the everyday of our lives. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to be one with you and with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have taught your church all the heavenly commandments by love of you as God and love of neighbor. Grant that practicing the works of charity after the example of Blessed Teresa of Calcutta, we may be worthy to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If any one among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belongs to you and to you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. The Lord belongs to the earth and all that fills it. Mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place. He whose hands are sin sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him 
that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. And he saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. And getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. And then he sat down and he taught the crowds from the boat. And after he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. But Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. Then they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. And then Simon Peter saw this, and he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all who were with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was an ordinary work day for Simon and his partners. Uh, Kind of a frustrating work day because they worked all night and caught. But it was in the middle of that ordinary work day that Jesus came and asked to borrow their boat, which they agreed to, and they put out a little bit so Jesus could preach from the boat. Um, and then Jesus, who was not a fisherman, says to these professional fishermen, well, let's go, go fishing. And I can imagine all of them rolling their eyes and saying, oh, my goodness, what does this guy know about fishing? We fished all night. It's useless. But they followed his instructions. And in the midst of an ordinary day, they have this experience of great abundance. And they have an insight into the fact that this Jesus is someone special who has come into their ordinary day and who calls them beyond their fishing nets to follow him. But it happened 
in the midst of an ordinary day. When we think about Mother Teresa, whose feast is today, we, we think about an extraordinary person who did amazing things caring for the poor. And it's true, definitely true. But at the same time, we have to remember that she was also an ordinary person. An ordinary person who began to answer this call simply by taking care of one person. Deciding to leave this very comfortable girls' school where she taught and to reach out to one poor person. And then that led to another and another and another to a call of devoting the rest of her life to the poorest of the poor. But she was an ordinary person. She was somebody who was part of our world. Um, she had our sisters in a parish we had in St. Louis, parish of St. Teresa's. And she used to come from time to time to visit her sisters. And she'd come to Mass and fall asleep in the middle of Mass. She was going here and there and everywhere, but it was an example of the fact that she was an ordinary person. Once I was on a plane with Mother Teresa and as they were getting ready to take off, they went through the, um, the safety instructions and the people around me were saying, why are we doing safety instructions? Mother Teresa is here. No need. But in a way, that's treating her as if she's, you know, going to be separate from all of us. And she wasn't separate from all of us. She was an ordinary person who responded to God one need at a time, one person at a time, one day at a time. And I think her great legacy for us you know, despite the fact that she created this new religious order that continues to care for the poor day by day, her legacy for us is that we too, in the midst of our ordinary days, are called to care for others, to care for those in need, to care for the littlest and the poorest. Um, so perhaps she can be an example for us to devote ourselves to being like her, a pencil in the hand of God. Someone who's going to let God use us. Maybe if it's just caring for one person at a time. Maybe it's just calling somebody on the phone. Maybe it's buying groceries for somebody. Whatever it is. To care for one person at a time. To be pencils in the hand of God. So let's, uh, let's offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church that we may respond to the call of Jesus day by day like Peter and the apostles did like Mother Teresa did, we pray to the Lord. We pray for Pope Francis, for our bishops. We pray for Pope Francis during his pastoral visit to Asia, to Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, East Timor, that God will strengthen him on this journey. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the missionaries of charity, Mother Teresa's sisters throughout the world, that they may continue in their mission of caring for the poor. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have asked for our prayers. We pray for Patty and Jim, who celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary today. We pray for Mary. For all those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are sick. We pray for Peg, for Julie, for Donald, 
for all those we know who need God's healing presence. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. We pray for Jane, for Inez Pesci, for Tom O'Dell. We pray for the students and teachers who were killed in the shooting in Georgia yesterday. We pray that leaders may work together for common sense laws to protect us from gun violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray also for Skip Arone. The Mass is offered for him, for his eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Loving God, help us to hear your call every day. Receive these prayers, for we trust in you and we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may by the example of Blessed Teresa of Calcutta be confirmed in love of you and our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Christopher, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Teresa of Calcutta, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As those called by Jesus to follow him, we are able to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and union in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life. Amen. of communion if walking is a difficulty just stay where you are and after the others have come forward we'll come to you we'll bring you communion in your place so just raise your hand after the others have come forward
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Teresa of Calcutta, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, the cafe is open today. As most of you know, Thursday is chicken pot pie day, but there's lots of other good things if you want to stop by there. Um, the gift shop is also open. And enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.